So this one goes out to my buddy Marco. I really love the color though. That's cool. Yeah. Really cool. I like it. So uh, yeah, we're gonna use it tonight, tonight, today when we're fishing. It's between green and turquoise. Turquoise, yeah. yeah. Is that your favorite color, turquoise? It was when I was younger. <laughs> Why are you laughing at that? Look. No, just imagine you young. That's. Yeah. Oh, nice story. Oh, 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 look at this guy. <laughs> People think that this is turquoise or whatever. <laughs> it's it's actually not. This color is of course called peacock green, as you can tell. For me, I don't know. It's just green, I guess. I'm not good with colors. So we're gonna dig into the features a little bit, and I'm gonna show you all the cool things about this and how much you can actually fit in this and what I use it for. Let's do it. On the back here, we got a buckle so we can quickly put it on and take it off if we need to do that. Then it's also adjustable with the cord here, the strap. So you can just pull this here and then you tighten it or loosen if you want to do that. Then if we take a look on the back here, we got a little pocket for, I could keep my batteries, but you could keep money or whatever you want to have close to your person. You can keep that here. I keep the batteries so they will stay warmer. It's cold outside. Looking at the front, you have two big loops here where you can put an extra piece of clothing, maybe a bottle, whatever you, whatever suits you and you can adjust it here if you can, if you want to tighten it up, you can do that. And then, uh, as you can see here on the side, the whole hip pack itself is made out of the Berg shell material, so it will not get wet that easy. It's practically waterproof. Of course, you have the openings up here, big one. And now we'll show you how much you can actually fit in here. So we got one liter bottle. I got a Victory Knox knife here. Got another knife from my buddy number seven. You should go check out his Instagram. I'll post the link below. And then I just keep some accessories that I got with me. I got uh, earbuds, I got um, yeah, car keys and whatnot to keep with me as well. On adventures, I'm planning to use this as my sort of go-to mini camera bag. So I'm planning to keep a drone in here, batteries, uh, lenses, and more batteries, and more batteries. That's pretty much it. And you know, maybe snacks or something that you want to get to quick. But for this mini adventure today, we're keeping um, the lures, knives, hooks, scissors, multi-tool. And then, of course, the lens and uh, batteries. Yeah, two batteries. Yeah, we now we uh, sort of flip the bag inside out. So this is what the inside looks like. And here you got a zippered mesh pocket, pretty big one. Then on the sides here, you have one and two small mesh pockets if you want to keep things in there as well. And then, of course, the whole storage area. Again, I cannot stress how big this pack actually feels and how much you can fit in it. It just opens up really much there. And here you can see that the seams are tapered or uh, sewn together, so it will definitely not leak in any way. Now, this pack is obviously not waterproof. The water can still come in here through the zippers, but if it would be a rainy day, you'd have the cover here over the zippers. You would be really good for a, a really long time. So again, not waterproof, but as good as it gets pretty much for a, this type of a bag. Oh man, that looks like a mess right there. Yeah. But, uh, How do you feel? Yeah, well. This one is really nice to have a, a smaller pack like this that you can have in the front. You can store your lures and you can have, you know, all small sort of miscellaneous things with you. And you can just really, you can tell here just quickly pull it out front or if you want to not be not if you want it not to be in, in the way you just quickly store it there in the back like that I don't know, hopefully you can see there so that's really nice and yeah again when you're out like this you might not want to have a backpack where you risk uh, dipping it in the water but with this one you come up high and you can just tension it here on the side here and then you can get it even higher up on your back so that's really nice <laughs> So if I'm gonna give my sort of personal touch on this hip pack, uh, I really like the fact that you can hide it away, you just really swing it and then it disappears. I really like that you're free and it doesn't, it won't be a day pack for you, but if you just want your uh, miscellaneous essentials with you, it's great for that. Like you've seen when we use it for fishing, it's perfect for that. You can really fit a lot of things in there. 
But again, it doesn't take up much room and you can quickly hide it away. I'm out of breath, it's a long hill. <laughs> Ease of use, I really appreciate that. And also for me, you know, when you, I don't know, when you're out like, like I am and I'm filming and I want a different lens or anything like that, that's pretty specific for people like me, but it's really nice to not be caught up with carrying too many things when you don't want to, you want to be free, lightweight, but you still need some essentials with you. And yeah, that's where this hip bag comes in great. All right, so the Swedish word for the week, the new thing we started with is uh, media väska. Media väska. This thing. Media väska. There'll be a quiz on this next week, so make sure you come prepared. So the cameraman and I are having a small disagreement. Since this is a hip pack, why am I wearing it on my shoulders or across my chest? So I'm just gonna put it like it's supposed to be used. So you're free to use this thing, whatever suits you the best. Let's see if this is this is the way I would use it. It's probably not, I can feel that right away. Yeah, you happy now? Here you go. Classic hip bag. Hip bag. You can still swing it around. All right, so here you can see that there's actually another way to carry it. See like that, just one strap it over one shoulder. You can you can carry it pretty much how you want, but this is just another option. You're welcome. Okay, so we're gonna try the waterproof method with this hip bag. We're gonna dip it here and we'll see how it looks inside. Yeah, there's some water inside, but it, I think it made a pretty good job. guys enjoy the review of the Ulva hip pack large if you have any questions post them down below and I'll answer them as soon as I can don't forget don't forget to like comment and subscribe should not say that too fast because it gets confusing mm -hmm.